I'm Kushla, one of the directors of Tom Mark Henry, and we're in Windsor House in Paddington. Paddington is known for lots of terrace houses. This terrace is particularly unique. It was designed and built in the 1970s, unlike a lot of the very old terrace homes. So whilst it fits in with the context of Paddington being a terrace home, it, it really does stand out with its street presence. The original architect had fully embraced open planning and split level homes has a central stair and we wanted to work with that and not against that. The challenge with the split level home was creating a connection between the spaces. So we extended the stair, we turned the basement level into a functional lower ground floor with a steam room, a powder room, a laundry and an entertainment area. We flipped the kitchen to then create access to the new level and we embraced the central stair as a key spatial planning element. The open stair connects the spaces and allows light to travel to the various areas of the home. So the main goal for our clients, Clint and Helena, was to create a functional family home for their family of five and also for it to be one that they could easily entertain in. We were very happy with all the material choices that Tom, Mark and Henry chose. They understood our brief from day one. They just knew that we needed something that was functional, robust, easy to clean, easy to keep looking good. We didn't want to have a highly specced, high design house where we didn't feel comfortable to live. They just got it. They just got us and our family from the get-go and everything they chose, everything they put in the house, we absolutely love. The design of the home itself is quite linear. So the furniture was chosen specifically to help soften that geometry. You enter through the formal lounge and you can go up to the informal lounge or down to the ground floor kitchen area which connects to the rear-facing courtyard. Heading back up the stairs, there are the bedroom levels. So the kids' rooms are on the first floor. Up one level again is the master bedroom and ensuite. And finally, there's an additional third bedroom on the top floor with its own ensuite. Material selection was definitely impacted by the open plan and split level design. We wanted to maintain transparency wherever possible so that light could travel throughout the different levels in the home. We've got limestone floors, on the ground floor, which seamlessly transition from inside to outside. Marble bench tops and beautiful detailing like ribbed glass on joinery, which allows a visual connection between the split levels. Ceiling heights in a home just creates an energy, obviously allows a lot of lighting. And what complements those ceiling heights the most is probably the dining and kitchen area, where we've got over three metre high steel doors. You really do get that captured, framed, indoor, outdoor experience. Not a lot of terraces have that sort of level living. Really important to me particularly because the kitchen is the heart of the home. It's where we spend most of our time. We needed to find the right appliances to allow us to be able to entertain, fit in with our budget, and also have an integrated look and feel with the designer kitchen that we created. We felt very comfortable with the Fisher & Paykel brand. I originally thought I was going to go for a gas cooktop, but when I saw the new minimal induction cooktop, I was just sold straight away. Sleekness. The sleekness, the way that it just sinks straight into the beautiful marble bench top, it looks great, and it's so inconspicuous. I also got the dishwasher, which is great and the column fridge has been an amazing choice. The longevity of my fresh produce has been amazing and they last two to three weeks longer than what they did before. So very, very happy with the fridge choice. I think a good appliance is defined by how easy and intuitive it is to use and the Fisher & Paykel range definitely hit the mark with that. The ovens have a touch screen, they've got stored recipes, it's so easy to use and motivated me to do even more cooking and even encourage the kids to get a little bit more involved, which has been great. 
What we're most proud of in this home is the feeling that you get walking through it. There's a level of calm that's ensued by the finishes and the light is very soft. My favourite part of the house is the connection on the ground floor between the kitchen and the courtyard. The courtyard, when it's open, essentially doubles the entertaining and living space. I think it's an amazing use of the site. The Fisher and Paykel team worked really closely with us to ensure that their appliances fit in with the design. They're modern, they're sleek, they look great, paired with the traditional aesthetic of the joinery. I think I'm most proud that we were patient and waited for the right property. I think all the things that you hear, make sure you buy in the right location, the right street, facing the right direction, all of those things are really important and fortunately for us, Windsor House ticks all those boxes. It's a really nice space to be in and live in and I think that's really the key to a successful project.